How's it going, you guys? It's Ground Club. Sleep. My name is Dion. I'm in the backyard. Let me first clarify that yes, there is a pond in the back of the subdivision. So yes, I literally walk out of the backyard and go back there to fish. Um, just because some of you might want to know, um, we got some pickerel, we got some bass, a large rod bass, um, some bluegills, some crap. Oh, some nice size crappy man. Like when February ish. March hit, crappy, it just it just slabs coming out of there. I've actually caught a few. Um, used the lure really for the first time and caught a few fish. So I, I pretty proud of myself. <laughs> so yeah, I do fish back there. But anyway, to the video. <laughs> I want to sit here and take some time and just talk about the internal and the external valve. Now, heads up, I'm going to make this very very basic I don't have an internal valve with me I don't have an external valve with me um, but I'm going to the goal is to hopefully really break down what the internal valve does what the external valve does um, and, and what it basically is in a sense right because these are things that you essentially work with on a daily basis right daily basis and I'm going to show it to you right so as much as we think about what it's like to be a tanker driver and we automatically assume that it's sort of kind of complicated or, you know, it's, it's really not. You already do it, right? You do it when you go to the gas pump, you know, you're unloading into your car, right? <laughs> so anyway, so let's just, just start from the beginning. The internal valve and the external valve. Internal valve essentially means that it's a valve that's located primarily inside of that trailer, right? External valve is a valve that is located primarily outside of that trailer. Plain and simple, right? The internal valve, I wish I had one, but I don't have one here. But the internal valve is essentially a tub stopper, sink stopper, right? So you go to your sink or you go to your tub. In fact, let's just... just just break down even further. You, you. I take my wife on a resort vacation. You know, get away from the kids, and we get in there. Got the room. We've got this nice tub just right there, and you know they got some bath bombs. They got a few flower petals, and and you know she's got the the, the bath salts, and and she loves candles, so she's got candles everywhere, and. Then she wanted to take some of those Instagram photos, which my wife probably won't, but she took take one of those photos where, you know, it's like this and cha-ching, all of a sudden, you're coming down. So <laughs> all that water is in the tub, right? And when she's done, when she's done relaxing, she has to get rid of that water somehow. How? Well, in most cases, the valve, in a sense, to the tub stopper, you either press a button or you pull something or you move something such that the tub stopper pops up right it just pops up and all the water escapes out underneath the tub stopper goes into the pipes and goes wherever right internal valve on a trailer is essentially the same thing you go to the rear of that trailer depending on the type of trailer that you have in most cases you'll have that handle so you pump in that handle and meanwhile on the inside of that trailer the internal valves is going up, 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 up. And as it does that, any product, any chemical that's on the inside, same thing with the tub, it escapes out underneath the, uh, the internal valve, it goes through the pipes until it hits the external valve. When it hits the external valve, something else happens, right? External valve is sort of kind of like opening up a bottle of water. Oh look, I've got a bottle of water here, <laughs> right? So similar to this. So the cap on this is a screw top. That's essentially what a, that's essentially what a ex external valve is. It, it's a screw. Behind, how do I say this? So the valve that you turn, for the most part, you just turn it just like this, right? It's 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 just a valve that you just turn, you know? Behind it though, as you turn, it's kind of like a door in a sense. So, 
all the product goes into a pipe and it hits a door so that every time you screw open this door opens up all right with every screw right and then as it opens up all the product is able to come through and then go down into the discharge right that's essentially what that is now as you screw open the external valve you're able to kind of control that flow similar to a water bottle i'm gonna see if i can make this happen i don't know well we'll find out but the more that you screw the more product can escape out now this screw isn't exactly like what you have on the external valve but see that if you can see that it's starting to develop a leak there same thing and then you screw more see if we can get uh not really getting it but the more that you unscrew the more product comes through the external valve so the way that I look at it, if you're as old as I am, or older, there used to be a game that was popular called Lemmings, right? And Lemmings was, was, was essentially these small characters that you had to help get from point A to point B. And it was such where, you know, you had to climb boxes, you had to climb stairs, you had to go through like a portal, this, that, and the other, so you could make it to point B. Point B was like a door at the top of the screen, right? But meanwhile, you had to do it such that nobody died but everybody followed everybody right there was no, they didn't do anything but just walk right so the product in itself is the same way it's just it's just it's not going to go go nowhere until there's an opening somewhere so when you open up the internal valve now the product has a place to go and it goes into the internal valve until it hits the external valve it can't go any further it's like another door that says right hits the external valve and you screw it open now it can go out and then go into your hose and then go into the customer's tank right say if you're in your room and you want to leave the house right so you're in your room you got the door closed because you got the kids out there and but you need to leave because you have to go to some appointment so you got to get get out the house and get into your car right so what do you do you're in your room you got to open up the door in order to get out right and then from there you can't get out the house until you open up the main door front door right open up the front door you can't get into your car until you open up the car door right there's a process so the same thing with the product in a trailer the the product can't get through to the customer's tank until you open up a few doors which is the internal valve the one that goes up up up, up and the external valve the one that you screw right and then even then once it goes into the hose it still can't get into the customer's tank until you open up their door, which is their valve. Open that up. The product won't flow from point A, which is your trailer, to point B, which is the, the customer's tank, until you open up all these doors, right? I know. I broke it down really basically. That's not the right way to use that word, but I'm going to use it. I, 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 <laughs> I broke it down. I know. I know. But if you're anything like me, it's how I process information, you know, so I'm just offering a different way of processing that information. For those of you who may be thinking, oh my gosh, tanker driving, hazmat, chemicals, I might die, right? <laughs> so it's just, just a different way of looking at it. It's, it's as, as, as complicated and meticulous being a tanker driver is, it's really simple, right? So this is just my way of just breaking down to this most simplest form. Internal valve is just like a tub stopper right same as that thing you use that on a daily basis if you want to stay clean right same exact thing it's a tub stopper external valve is just like the cap on a water bottle you know unscrew it the more that you unscrew the more product the more water the more coke that comes out of the bottle plain and simple right and so so with that being said though when you're trying to unload product and you know that you've got valves open and you turn everything on but there's no product going to the customer's tank the first question is is why what what's being blocked is there a blockage somewhere do i have everything open you know so that's why there's the, the whole process where you start off with the internal valve first and then the external valve and then make sure definitely make sure please please, please make sure that, that that the customers uh uh the um, customer's line has been open, right? 
because again, product has to flow from point A to point B, right? Uh, I think that's going to be it. Um, due to the pond in the back, I think I'm going to go ahead and because it looks like it's a great morning, we went through a whole lot of rain. Um, so I think I might go back there and put a line in the water, see what I get. But there's a lot of pond grass too, though, man. This summer year, there's a lot of pond grass back there, and, and I want to be able to fish without always dragging in some grass. But I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, until next time, you guys be good, be safe, and all that you do.